So welcome to Wellington, oh, Darren. Kia ora. <laughs> kia ora. Bit of kiwi. Yeah, how was oh, your flight? Oh, thank yep. you. That's it. Mm. it is so quick. Yeah, it is. Three quick. hours. Mm. I had no idea. Can't even bust out a Lord of the Rings movie in that time. <laughs> you get? So Speaking weird. of, our writer and director have unfortunately been whisked away to work with Sir Peter Jackson. Oh. Yeah, so um, we're currently without a script for you to work with. Oh, I'm just doing a little promo y thing, right? Yes, that's right. I don't need a script. Welcome to Wellington. You know, despite being a mere three hour plane trip for most of our major cities, loads of Australians still have some misconceptions about what this lovely little capital city is actually like. Well, I think it's about time we show Wellington for the thriving little metropolis. It really is a paragon of 21st century civilization, the greatest little capital in the world. What's so great about it, Darren? <laughs> I'll tell you. Wellington has things. We're talking roads, electricity, water, electric doors on public toilets, housing and transportation. Um, Loving it, right? Uh, yeah, it's all pretty general at the moment. Like that last sentence, you just copied all of that stuff verbatim off the Wikipedia page for City. Yeah. So do. how about something new, something different? Uh, Have you got any ideas? <laughs> As well as those basic necessities, this little city is also a diverse cultural melting pot, bursting with life. It's home to Te Papa, Australasia's most visited museum, home to Weta Workshop and other various film-related tours, plunging you deep into the heart of Middle Earth. Home to the Royal New Zealand Ballet, the New Zealand Symphony Orchestra, and countless other arty-farty things. Loads to see it. You have literally just walked straight into that bloody shop. Wellington also has nature things and the likes. Like Zealandia, Wellington's own sanctuary valley of wildlife and natural beauty, or a stunning range of mountain biking trails and gorgeous bushwalks. You can even witness the wonder of real seals doing real seal things on the coast. Not the first time I've worked with a seal. And I haven't even mentioned the spectacular food. Oh, thank you. Or the delicious coffee. The beer is so good here, people come from all over the world to enjoy it. Thanks, Cobber. Mm. Holy pasta doble! It's Paul Mercurio. Hi, hey, Darren. What are you doing here, shooting another dance movie? No, I just doing a bit of research and development. Strictly balding. Nailed <laughs> that before. Thanks, man. I'll admit it. I only came here for the free holiday and the cute girls. Then something happened. I fell in love. It wasn't with the woman. It was with this place. These people. This energy. You can laugh here. You can dance here. You can lay beneath the Pahutakawa trees or lie flat on the pavement and have the whispering winds of possibility tickle your brow. Wellington is poetry. Glorious, irreducible poetry. And I stand here before you, tossed in its wake. Ladies and gentlemen, Wellington has things. Wellington has things. And I love them all.